I definitely hear you there. I was actually going to ask you a YouTube question later, but we'll get back into that. So um, in your minimal experience, then, is there, have you seen anybody that was like, wow, like I, I need to go check out their channel and sub to them? I sub to actually a few. I can't even remember who because it was a while back. It's okay. I you don't have to name I've been them. subbed to most of them, though, already. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> how, how many people are you subscribed to on YouTube? Uh, quite a few. Uh, prob- it was, it's, it's less than a hundred. Oh, but... well, then you're not that bad. <laughs> I mean, there's there some people that I've seen that they have, like, 387 subscriptions. What? And I'm how like, do you keep up with that? I'm like, <laughs> okay, what, what do you do with the rest of your three hours in the day? Like... <laughs> It's just, it blows my mind. Like, I I think right now I'm at, like, 68. Um, mm. But the thing is, is, like, I, I subscribed to a channel for a while. And this is going to lead into another question I have. It's just, like, the state of YouTube and, like, what's going on right now is what I've been finding is there's good people out there. They have good channels when you first come to them. But then mm. after watching, like, 10 videos, you're like, this is the same video I just watched, isn't it? It's just different words. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you know, and that's one of the main reasons I stepped back from YouTube. Like, I am not even anywhere close as active as I was, say, seven months ago. Yeah. Um, because it just felt like I was doing videos to do videos. Like, I, I tried to make them as entertaining as possible, but at the same time, it was just like, I'm running out of stuff to say. I have almost 500 videos. I've actually had almost 600, but I deleted off about 100 of them. But uh, I'm... I'm getting back up to the 500 mark and it's like I, I've done so much I, I like I just want to take a step back and say you know what I need to start putting up material that is actually entertaining and not just another video yeah no I completely agree that's like I used to do like three or four videos a week and now I'm pushing like two uh, not only because I'm busy and with real life and everything but it's just like I I, I have like what 100 videos on my channel now and i just feel like i've done everything and i don't want to like like you just i just feel like i'm putting up videos and i just i don't really want to do that yeah it's like, not it's not as fulfilling like yeah exactly that's why i want to i want to try and learn editing but i don't know if i have the time but that would really be fun yeah like, i'm in the same boat like i i have limited skills in my editing and then i look at somewhere like the spring buck and i'm like yeah god <laughs> damn like i wish i had half the skill like know. you know and I'm just not creative either. Like, uh, it's I don't have that kind of mindset, so I don't want it to feel forced. But it just looks so fun. <laughs> I just want to learn how to do it myself. Oh well, that I'm I'm the complete opposite. Like I have the creativity. Like I have what I want in my head. And then when I go to do it, I'm like, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, isn't it? Oh yeah, like, it's definitely a ton of work. I don't know. Do you know Phil Flo? Yeah, I do. Phil, I mean, his, I, he puts up, like, maybe a video or two a week, and they're, like, 16, 17 seconds long, and his edits are just, they're sick. Yeah, they and, really are. And I'm just, like, but, again, like, the same thing. Like, a lot of his edits, they seem like they're the same edit, just a different clip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I'm not taking anything away from him. He definitely got mad skills. But yeah. at the same time, like, if, you know, there's 16, 17 second clips, mm-hmm. they're, they're fucking sick. But after yeah. you've seen 10 of them, it's like, okay, you, you're going to try something new? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. Yeah. Like, And that's not – I'm not trying to knock Doc Phil or, or anybody else, but like that yeah, seems like the state of YouTube. Like people get into a cycle of this is what I do, and it just – it gets old after a while. you got to keep things fresh. you got to keep changing up your style. you got to try different things like, you know, like the Schwanz. He has like seven different things on his channel, that like yeah. little series. and you know, he is that that mad commentator, but he keeps it entertaining. He tries to keep it fresh with a little spin here and there. Yeah, he does. And typically, I don't really like watching long videos, and his videos are like seven to eight minutes long. But he keeps me entertained throughout. The- Him and like JD, they keep me entertained throughout the whole time. That's really hard to do because I have an attention span of like a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> really hard to keep my attention for that long and whenever i do i I watch videos i watch them from beginning to end regardless you know so it's it's hard to keep me entertained for that long and they do a really good job i wish i could say the same thing usually if um i lose interest in the first minute i turn it off yeah i mean and and to me it's that's 
that's just a credit to you making a video. You want to catch people's attention immediately. You yeah. want to keep them interested. And if you can't do that in the first 60 seconds, chances yeah. are the rest of the video is not going to be that good. Yeah, that is true. So, um, you know, and I try to support as many people as I can. I, I try to, you know, people send me an email. Hey, can you check out my channel? And it doesn't look like something that was sent from mass mail. Mm -hmm. I'll go check them out. I'll watch a video or two and I'll give them some honest feedback. I mean, I don't think I've ever subbed anybody that way, but I'll give them some feedback. And if yeah. they have a decent channel, I might drop a sub and just see what's going on. Mm -hmm. I agree. I do the same thing. I try to at least. But it's, rarely do I ever check my YouTube PMs. Like, I don't even, I'm lucky I even saw your YouTube PMs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I know. Well, I just never check it because it's so, it's not user friendly. You have to go to your video manager, then you go to community, and then you go to your inbox. It, it doesn't like just show up as like a notification, you know? Yeah, I actually uh, created a shortcut on um, my win, you know, my bar, my favorites. That actually goes okay. straight to, it's just youtube.com forward slash inbox. You just create a shortcut. It takes you straight to your inbox. You don't have to click, 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 click. <laughs> You know? I didn't even think about that, yeah. Yeah, so. Good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we're, we're running, I guess, about 13 minutes now, give or take. So, uh, is there any girl gamers on YouTube that you actually look up to? That I look up to, like? Like you model or you'd be like, oh, you know what? Like. She